The competition's been around for about 15 years. Um, it was originally the 10K competition, now growing to a 30K competition, uh, obviously implying the, the um, kind of pool of money that uh, students have the opportunity to win to begin developing their business. W we have all of our students uh, create uh, videos now for their application. And so when they apply and they walk through, you can kind of see their excitement in terms of, you know, how just kind of jazzed they are about their idea. And uh, they range anything from uh, safety applications for phones College um, students, young adults, and parents feel safer for their children in um, not so safe areas. To um, uh, manufacturing, we have a, a student, you know, really kind of off the wall in terms of uh, a, a porta potty business. I think everybody can agree that porta potties are pretty awful to use in general, so that, that's something that could be improved. Yes, everybody is uh, enticed, you know, by the money, uh, and and we always talk about that, and it's always highlighted, but. What they really should be enticed about is the mentorship. I'm, you know, I'm an engineer. I don't, I don't know. I haven't taken any business classes except for the few we're required to take. So my mentor, um, he's pretty much guiding me through the whole business plan. Best part about a lot of these businesses is they can jump on on an opportunity and see how it goes. Not even have to invest a whole lot of time and energy right off the right off the bat and kind of gauge what the market is, is feeling in terms of their product or their service, and um, they won't regret it. Even if we don't win the competition, we, will have, we would have actually built something solid that we could, like a foundation that we could build on yeah. later. I mean, no matter how this competition turns out, it's really cool everything that we've learned, especially in the business part of it. Uh, the end goal really being that this is more of a learning experience. Sure, there's a benefit of winning some money at the end, and that's great, um, but we want to make sure that they're able to understand what it takes to be an entrepreneur and whether that's in their sophomore year or their senior year, you know, they're going to have those skills and they can kind of keep those for life. I feel like I've learned quite a bit from it, from my mentor and from actually being able to put the things I'm learning into practice, being able to, you know, take my education up to this point and being able to make something of it. That's been really cool. So it's pretty exciting to see the ideas coming from uh, a student who's still in a learning process. I mean, some of these ideas are so high level that I can only imagine what they'll be doing five years from now after they've graduated and, and moved on, whether it's running this business, another business, or you know, being out there uh, in the community. And so, uh, so the competition will be held on April 8th, and the competition runs from about eight in the morning through about four o'clock at night. So all day long, uh, the presentations will be about kind of every half hour or so. And uh, we have really an exceptional uh, lineup of uh, finals judges are going to be here. Everyone uh, ranging from uh, uh, venture capitalists to heads of banks, CFOs, CEOs um, of really, really large corporations and people who are also in a position to help out these finalists as well. And that's the beauty of this competition. You may end up in seventh place out of eighth, but if that judge saw something in you, they may be able to provide additional resources. out about this competition? We were just roaming around and there was like a sign called free pizza and we entered in. <laughs> <laughs>